Below are 10 ways to practice fulfilling your intention to live your life on purpose from this day forward. Step 1. Affirm that in an intelligent system, no one shows up by accident, including you. Know that you are here on purpose. This is not the same as knowing what you're supposed to do. Throughout your life, what you do will change and shift. In fact, the changes can occur from hour to hour in each day of your life. Your purpose is not about what you do. It's about your beingness, that place within you from which your thoughts emerge. This is why you're called a human being rather than a human doing. Affirm in your own words, both in writing and in your thoughts, that you are here on purpose and intend to live from this awareness at all times. Step 2. Seize every opportunity, no matter how small, to give your life away in service. Get your ego out of your intention to live a life on purpose. Whatever it is that you want to do in life, make the primary motivation for your effort something or somebody other than your desire for gratification or reward. Do it from the perspective of making a difference for someone or for some cause, and let the universe handle the details of your personal rewards. Live your purpose doing what you do with pure love. Then you'll co-create with the power of this universal mind of intention, which is ultimately responsible for all of creation. Step 3. Align your purpose with the field of intention. This is the most important thing you can do to fulfill your intentions. Being aligned with the universal field means having faith that your Creator knows why you're here, even if you don't. It means surrendering the little mind to the big mind and remembering that your purpose will be revealed in the same way that you were revealed. Keep this connection pure and you'll be guided in all of your actions. The universe will respond with the identical energy by asking you, how may I serve you? Step 4. Ignore what anyone else tells you about your purpose. Regardless of what anyone might say to you, the truth about your feeling purposeful is that only you can know it. And if you don't feel it in that inner place where a burning desire resides, it isn't your purpose. Your purpose is between you and your source. And the closer you get to what that field of intention looks and acts like, the more you'll know that you're being purposefully guided. You might have zero measurable aptitudes and skills in a given area, yet you might feel inwardly drawn to doing it. Forget the aptitude test results. Forget the absence of skills or know-how. And most important, ignore the opinions of others and listen to your heart. Step 5. Remember that the all-creating field of intention will work on your behalf. Albert Einstein is credited with saying that the most important decision we ever make is whether we believe in a friendly universe or a hostile universe. It's imperative that you know that the all-creating field of attention is friendly and will work with you as long as you see it that way. Know that the universe is always willing to work with you on your behalf and that you're always in a friendly rather than a hostile world. Step 6. Study and replicate the lives of people who've known their purpose. I've always been fascinated by Saul of Tarsus, later called St. Paul, whose letters and teachings became the source of a major portion of the New Testament. I was also deeply touched by the purposeful manner in which St. Francis of Assisi lived his life as exemplified in the novel St. Francis by Nikos Kostanzakis. I make it a point to use my free time to read about people who are models for purposeful living, and I encourage you here to do the same. Step 7. Act as if you're living the life you were intended to live, even if you feel confused about this thing called purpose. Invite into your life every day whatever it might be that makes you feel closer to God and brings you a sense of joy. View the events you consider obstacles as perfect opportunities to test your resolve and find your purpose. Treat everything from a broken fingernail to an illness to the loss of a job to a geographical move as an opportunity to get away from your familiar routine and move to purpose. By acting as if you're on purpose and treating the hurdles as friendly reminders to trust in what you feel deeply within you, you'll be fulfilling your own intention to be purposeful yourself. Step 8. Meditate to stay on purpose. Use the technique of japa, which I mentioned earlier, and focus your inner attention on asking your source to guide you in fulfilling your destiny. Many people have written to me about their success with staying on purpose through the practice of japa meditation. I'm deeply touched when I read about those who use japa or the repetition of the sound of the name of God.
to help them achieve their divine mission. Step 9. Keep your thoughts and feelings in harmony with your actions. The surest way to realize your purpose is to eliminate any conflict or dissonance that exists between what you're thinking and feeling and how you're living your days. If you're in disharmony, you activate ego-dominated attitudes of fear of failure or disappointing others, which distance you from your purpose. Your actions need to be in harmony with your thoughts. Trust in those thoughts which harmonize and be willing to act upon them. Refuse to see yourself as inauthentic or cowardly because those thoughts will keep you from acting on what you know you are meant to be. Being in harmony with God's will is the highest state of purpose you can attain. And as always, step 10, stay in a state of gratitude. Be thankful for even being able to contemplate your purpose. Be thankful for the wonderful gift of being able to serve humanity, your planet, and your God. Be thankful for the seeming roadblocks to your purpose. See all of the jobs, successes, apparent failures, possessions, losses, wins, everything from a perspective of gratitude. Be grateful for the opportunity to live your life purposefully in tune with the will of the source of all. That's a lot to be grateful for. It seems to me that searching for our purpose is like searching for happiness. There is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. And so it is with living your life on purpose. It's not something you'll find. It's how you live your life serving others and bringing purpose to everything you do. When you're living your life from purpose, you're dwelling in love. When you're not dwelling in love, you're off purpose.